good route. Um, I like the accent. Yeah, I, I mean, I, it's, like not, it's not that I disliked your accent, I was just confused briefly yeah. about what exactly was going on. I just wanted you um, to be more consistent, and I didn't want you to ask her why she was British. Yeah. That, like, and okay. if, that, if those had happened, then I would have been like 100% on board. Figure out another way to introduce her character, and yes. you're going to be great. Okay. Um, defense case in chief. Um, if Longstreet is not in the round, you need a new argument. Um, yeah. Your argument holds, I mean, I was holds, so confused. Yeah, I, I won't say it holds no water, because it does hold some water, especially based on your witnesses' direct examinations, um, and your cross-examinations, the opposing witnesses, but without Longstreet, there's no argument to be, this, this argument can't be made. Um, or at least Floyd. In yeah, the, there was no long street or Floyd. In either. the way, in the way that you're making it, it doesn't, it doesn't work. Um, unfortunately, you're tied to the witnesses that the other side calls. Um, it's hard to spin a convincing conspiracy theory without the co-conspirators. I'm sure that if the co-conspirators are in the round, this theory sounds very convincing and believable. Um, Without that, it doesn't. And you need something else to deal with that situation. Um, obviously, you should listen to what your coaches have to say more than what I have to say. Um, but I personally think that you need to figure out a way to advance your case without using this conspiracy theory because it was extremely confusing to me what was going on the whole time. Um, and I couldn't wrap my head around where exactly you were going. Um, closing arguments were good. Um, oratorically sound. Yours was confusing, but that's because your theory was confusing and the evidence wasn't there for you. Um, be careful that you only use the evidence that like clearly came out in trial, because you've talked a lot about like things that J.C. Longstreet did and said, which it was unclear to me actually had come out in trial. Um, yeah. Um, oh, I had one other thing to say. Don't object to facts that you are going to ask about in cross-examination. Do not object to facts that you're going to ask about in cross-examination. Um, because then the other team can turn around and make you look silly um, by objecting to these facts, even if they wanted to have them in in the first place. Um, so don't object to facts that you want to ask about at cross-examination. That's a strategic decision, right? The judge might wonder why you're skipping this obvious objection, but when you ask about it on cross-examination, not only will it all make sense, but you'll seem more strategic. Um, those are mostly the things that I had to say. Sorry for sounding so angry. <laughs> um, yeah, so, uh, prosecution, I think you guys need to set up your burden a little bit better in the beginning, because um, it made sense in the closing, but I need to understand from the beginning what complicity is and why that's a legitimate thing to do. Um, it doesn't make sense that you're charging this guy for something that no one is saying that he did. And you need to make that something that I am on board with from the start of the trial. Otherwise, I'm going to think the rest of what you're saying doesn't make sense. Um, I think, like, I've been saying this to the other teams that I've been seeing. I've been saying this to our teams. Like, I think this is probably like the number one most important thing for prosecutions to get right in this year because it sounds like crap right without it, right? Like, it's, it sounds like you're going after someone because you need to go after someone. Um, so I, I think that's, like, the most important thing you guys need to do. And it's not your fault that it sounds no, like No, yeah, yeah, no, 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 no. Like, you, you guys got stuck with the shooting. You have, yeah, you have a hard road to follow. Yeah. Um, <coughs> and, like, and I, didn't, I don't hold the fact that you have that against you, um, but you do have to make that clear from the start. Um, watch out for genders. A couple of you mixed that up and 
I know it's a really small detail, but there's nothing that takes me out of the trial more. It's it, it annoys me a lot when that happens. Because um, it's pretty simple to rehearse. Just every time you rehearse it, switch the genders. It doesn't matter whatever, whenever you're practicing, just use a different gender. Um, so for the defense, I don't think that if you run into this situation again, you'll have, I don't think you have that much work to do to get a case theory that works. You've already got half of it there. You know, you could just go for a straight, they didn't prove it case. You know, sometimes, you know, the past couple of years, we've had so many affirmative defenses that like nobody wants to run a straight, they just didn't prove it properly case anymore. And that can be really effective, especially because I don't, like the, the prosecution doesn't really have the facts on their side. Um, and I haven't seen a case with the conspiracy thing fully fleshed out where all of the witnesses are there, so I don't know how effective that is when, when all the pieces are in place, but if it's not, you've got enough to have a really good case on its own. Um, so if you run into this situation, you need to have a backup plan, and I think that that's a really simple way to do it where you already have a lot of material. Um, all of your witnesses need to have more energy. You guys, um, need to be more upbeat, you have to moderate your tone more, you have to have more distinct personalities, and you have to make me interested in why you're here and why I should listen to you, and you have to make me believe you, and you need to fight less on cross. Um, there's some strange objections um, in this, just go over your objections, guys. Um, Wit was never in the ticket booth. You said that in the beginning of your closing. Um, you said they were in the ticket booth together and Wit never was, and that was the thing that people made a very good point about, so don't say that because it didn't come out. Um, I guess everything else is personal comments, so if you want um, if you want personal things, I'm more than happy to stay behind and give everyone individual comments, but those are about all of the team wide things I've got. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much. Keep using that demo. It's nice yeah, to the see Yeah, the demo was actually really helpful. Yeah, because um, I don't know what the part looks like and it's confusing otherwise. I do have to say something about that though. Yes. Your one witness described it as a square. Oh, yeah. Right? And it's like yeah, definitely yeah. not a square. I, I mean, so. it's kind of a diamond. <laughs> like they are, they are very far apart. They're just not in the like.